Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for hydrogen selenide. So here we go. Uh, hydrogen selenide is going to be H2SE, okay, and that's going to give us two hydrogens, each with a single valence electron, plus one selenium. That's going to have six valence electrons for a total of eight valence electrons okay so basically the hydrogens can only have a single bond so we know that the selenium is going to be in the center so let's go ahead and draw the selenium with the two surrounding hydrogens and we can single bond the hydrogens to the selenium alright so there's two four electrons and we have to do two more or four more to make eight so we're going to just go ahead and put two non-bonding pairs on the central selenium there just so that way the selenium has its full octet full eight electrons okay and this is going to end up being our final structure but let's go ahead and check the formal charges to show why so the formal charge on the selenium in the center is going to be the uh, six valence electrons brought in minus one two bonds minus two four non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero and then the formal charge on each of the hydrogens is going to be one valence electron brought in minus a single bond for each hydrogen minus zero non-bonding electrons for also a formal charge of zero and we times that by two because there are two of them if you add all these up it's still going to result in zero which is what we want because this is a non-charged uh, compound all right uh, in terms of shape, with this type of structure, this is actually going to be called an A, X, 2, E, 2 type of structure. So central atom, two peripheral atoms, and two non-bonding pairs on the central atom. Uh, with that kind of a shape, that is going to be called the bent shape. Okay, And when you have the bent shape, the bond angles are approximately 105 degrees. All right. Uh, in terms of hybridization, looking at the central atom, you have one, two, three, four possible bonding sites or electron groups. So that means four hybrid orbitals. So you're going to need sp3 hybrid, one s and three p's. So that's four total orbitals. Okay. And due to the fact that we have these two non-bonding pairs of electrons, that's going to make this a polar compound. All right. That is. Pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.